So today we are taking a look at the Mattel Elite Collection Ruthless Aggression Rob Van Dam. This is actually the best of Ruthless Aggression and this is the whole effing show. So here's the side of the box. We get an image of RVD on the back side. You can see the rest of the wave I guess. We just have Rey Mysterio and Booker T right there and with some highlights here from RVD's career. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. So this figure is actually a repaint, reissue of this RVD figure that has come out before. But as we know, Rob Van Dam comes with a lot of different attire designs. So this is a perfect opportunity for Mattel to release more and more RVDs with all of his different, you know, attire designs. I'm all for that. It's pretty cool. But I do hope that they change it up a bit. Now they did change it up a little bit because the initial release came with a steel chair. And this one does not, but he does come with a title belt. So that's cool. He comes with the intercontinental title belt here. And I love how Mattel makes their title belts. They always color it up and always make it look as realistic as, as it can be for this scale. You know, honestly, it's pretty good. The belt itself is textured and it's got color and, and it's got that, you know, shiny goldish um, paint job to make it seem like it's actual, like it's an actual title belt. Now, the figure is 100% the same as the original release and in fact I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in the original release right here this was from series 91 of the elite collection I think this was a regular release not an exclusive while wow, this one over here is a Walmart exclusive and you can see here he's got this very iconic attire the tiger stripe one here which is cool I like it and this one did not come with the belt like I mentioned it came with the steel chair and that's it. And of course, the same sets of alternate hands, which are these right here. We got the grabby hands. Both of them came with these here. So you don't have to be stuck with the thumbs up uh, hands, which is his signature pose, his, uh, you know, his iconic RVD pointing to himself pose. So you got him like this, or you can get him like that, or however else you would like him to. Now, my only gripe here, and my only hope is that if they're going to continue on releasing the same RVD figure, with a different attire go ahead and do it but give us a different head sculpt at the very least because the same exact smirk the same smile is cool one time maybe twice but on the third time please give us a different expression maybe a closed mouth just something different you know I know he smiles a lot I know he's got that snarky sarcastic um, smile and pose and all that but he does have other faces of course just like any other human being and to change it up a little bit with not just a paint job, but go ahead and give us a different head sculpt on the next release if we have another one. So if we get this one again, it's gonna be it's gonna get a little annoying to be honest. I, I don't know how I would feel about it. But I do like how these two look. There's a slight change in the hair paint here on the side of the head of the tiger stripe. It's kind of like an orangey color, while this one it's more brown or more to the color of his hair so I think that's a little bit more accurate and then his hair tie is green on this one while it's just black on the original release so the green matches his outfit I do like that but overall when it comes to Mattel and their paint and their printing with all their designs like this stuff here I mean it's as clean as can be I wish Hasbro could take a little um note here because they seem to be a little sloppy when it comes to little details like this but this is super clean and I know that's just printing it's not like it's hand painted on there but whatever they use to print on there it's the same thing they use to print their tattoos on their figures and it looks awesome it looks really really good like really no complaints even where the brakes are in the plastic for the articulation and and you know the body parts there it it continues on pretty seamlessly with the seam there if that makes sense same thing on this one right here, Mr. Pay-Per-View right there on the side, and everything looks pretty darn clean. I have no complaints with the paint and the attire itself. I think it looks great on both. But we're really going to focus on this one here. There's your little quick comparison. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the articulation. Alright, so if you don't want him in this pose, you can put the arms down, and it gets a little weird here. So I do got to point this out. His arms are stuck at this pose. You can't get them straight down like a normal human being, you know, like this. So I think that has to do with the way they sculpted his chest. I mean, they really made it really wide right here at the, you know, the upper torso area. I don't know what's up with that, but both figures are like that. His arms are just going to rest very wide. So you're almost forced to have his arms out 
pointing to himself because it just looks a little bit better like that and it doesn't look very natural with the arms down like this you know unless he's swole right now i don't know other than that i'm pretty content i'm pretty happy with the way this looks the head does move up about that far which isn't too far but the upper torso will help him look up a little bit more then he looks down not so much either so the head movement is pretty stiff left and right no problem head tilting is there arms are going to go all the way around in and out bicep swivel there is a double jointed elbow and these things are pinless elbows now we do got pinned knees but they're covered by the knee pads anyway so who cares but i like that mattel is doing pinless uh elbows as well that's pretty cool wrist swivel and a hinge at the wrist as well there's the app crunch it's a little loose on mine not terrible if you move them all the way back the design the paint continues on which is great moving forward same thing i love that look at that how about that that's pretty cool uh, there is a waist swivel legs will kick forward they go back down in and out about this far and you know what rvd can do a split in real life and he can do one in action figure form so that's pretty darn cool and then we have a thigh swivel it's super stiff there but it's there it just doesn't want to move on me so I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, knee would be a double jointed knee, but that knee pad is really thick. And it's not going to allow him to move it unless you, I mean, I could try to take it off. But yeah, it's a little stiff on the knee pad there on the knee because of that. There is a boot cut shin swivel. I like the Van Dam on the side of the boots there. That's pretty cool. And then we have a hinge at the ankle that's really stiff too. Really, really stiff, man. And then there's an ankle rocker. So really, there there is motion, but it's... It's almost non-existent because of how stiff that is. And there he is one more time with the title belt on his shoulder. He likes to pose like this when he's got the title belt. Uh, when he has two, he's put, you know, of course he puts the other one on the other side. And if you have another one, you could cover up, you know, that that weird armpit look because of the hinge there. And it'll look a little bit better. It also covers up the wide torso. But I like that look. And then also, of course, you can put it around his waist all the way to the end. And it fits on perfect, looks nice. And you can have his thumbs up up high, because sometimes he does it up high and really close to the face, and sometimes he does it wide like this. So it's all up to preference. So I really don't have a lot of wrestling figures, but the ones I do, I will compare them next to here. So I'm going to throw in Goldberg. Actually, let's put him back here so they can fit in frame. So we got the the ultimate elite Goldberg which I freaking love it's a nice looking Goldberg this the uh, WCW era version and you can see him there next to RVD he would stand taller he still stands taller even though he's kind of slouching forward there it's pretty dope and I also have the ultimates ultimate warrior another cool looking figure and you can see how he stands there next to RVD of course again doesn't make sense but that's all I got all right so that'll do it for this review of the WWE Mattel ruthless aggression rvd walmart exclusive figure i think it's a great addition um I, I i think that we are lacking in rvd figures surprisingly and uh hopefully they do make some more but with a few changes here and there you know it doesn't hurt to get at least a different face sculpt with rvd if they're going to keep releasing the other attires which i do hope they do and i'm a big advocate for ecw era figures and i know they're lacking in that and probably at this point we'll never get much from ECW, but hopefully, hopefully we do get some more in the future when it comes to the Mattel Elites or Ultimates. Also, a big shout out to my brother. You can find him on Instagram, WWE underscore Mattel underscore bad underscore guy. So it's WWE Mattel bad guy. Uh, if you're a big wrestling fan, then he's got lots of wrestling uh, WWE Mattel Elite post on that instagram account probably one of the best wwe mattel figure collection instagram accounts you'll find but that'll do it if there's any wrestling fans let me know down below in the comments section and if this is something you're interested in let me know as well hit the like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always take care take it easy and i will catch you on the next one bye